Welcome to this presentation showing you how to get um, adaptive GMAT practice tests from my website, successprep.com. Uh, so most of you have uh, either finished watching my videos or are going through my video series at this point. I'm probably wondering, hey, I've gone through all this um, good knowledge through my videos. Um, how do I get extra practice? How do I get actual GMAT pra style practice that are timed and everything? I have practice tests on my website. So all you have to do is go to www.successprep.com um, that's the URL right there and click on the GMAT circle on the main page. And then when you've clicked on that, then click again on GMAT practice test. It's a yellow button um, on my screen and I'm going to show you how to get there right now. So if you go to my website, which is right here, successprep.com, right there, successprep.com. When you get there on the main page, just scroll to the middle a little bit, depending on what size screen you have. Mine is pretty big here. So um, you click on this GMAT circle right there. I'm going to do that right now. And when you do that, it goes to this page, which is my um, uh, GMAT main page. And on this page shows the different products we have. And the one I'm really focused on for the practice test is this one, the GMAT practice test. So that yellow button, I'm going to click on that. So when you do that, it brings you to this page. Now, this is the product uh, for the uh, uh, practice test. And there's a video here that you can actually watch um, when you get to my site to kind of know a little bit more about what the tool itself looks like. I'm going to show you just a quick snippet of that now in a second, but you can just simply buy this on my website. It sends you an email and that uh, you then be able to kind of go ahead and log in and everything. Let me show you how the login looks like. So if you go up here, um, when you get the login on in my email, you get a URL. When you click on that, it brings you to a page like this. And on this page, I'm going to go ahead and just um, log into a former student's login right now, right here. Um, and then click submit, go in there. If you go in, it's going to load up a little bit and it's going to show you. So now this is a student that's obviously done their GMAT um, test. And, but my test, my practice test tool has a lot of data. If you love data, this is the practice test for you. So as you can see here, this student has taken five. My, my pack has five practice tests in there. It gives you all the data from the essay, the IR, integrated reasoning, the math and the verbal. Um, and also the analytics up here. So let's just look at the student. Let's look at a few things about the student. When I click on the analytics up here, it just kind of shows you from the test pretty much how you perform throughout the tests, right? Gives you a lot of data here. Um, when you go there, test one through five kind of shows you, okay, how you pretty much did in each section and you can kind of scroll through all the different tests and you know how you perform. So let's just jump right into an actual test. So let's go to the math on this test one. If you click on that on the math there, loads up it says uh, view explanations if you do that now one really cool part of my um, practice test tool is it literally shows you on the gmat how you've performed um, and how you ended up with the gmat score you got now if you know anything about the gmat test it works like this where if you get a question right so you look at number one if you get it right it gives you a harder question number two and you get that right it gives you a harder question number three a harder question number four a harder question number five um, and then this student missed a question, so they went down, and then they missed a the question and went down again, and they missed a the question and went down again, and they finally got a question and then went up, and then just kind of kind of hovers around, and this student ended up getting the score they got on this particular GMAT test. Now, this is just one level of the data analysis. Another is if you scroll there, it literally shows you the pace at which you were going. Were you on pace or off pace in terms of how you're performing, in terms of your timing on the test? Um, another um, data point uh, that you get on this on my GMAT um, practice test is shows you how you did on the data sufficiency versus problem solving and which questions you missed and what percentage those questions were. It also shows you what type of questions. This is huge because for, as you can see, this particular student seems to have trouble with circles, fractions, inequalities, but it looks like they were pretty decent with properties of integers. They were pretty okay with triangles. They really beasted it on polygons and um, coordinate geometry. But as you can see, percentages, some of the more basic stuff is really missing for this particular student. So, um, and then obviously for each um, test as well, you can actually click on it. So like, as you can see, this student, these were these were math questions all. So this student missed number five. So if we click on number five, it brings the number five question up. And then you can even scroll down and see the explanation for how you missed that question. So just lots of data here, um, even showing you how your score compares to uh, different top schools around the, around the world, Harvard, Stanford, MIT, kind of shows how they did, how your score is going to compare um, 
to those schools and you know if you can get in or not in, in terms of that so just lots of data uh, with my practice test you're going to enjoy it um it gives you a, 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 a time pacer literally as you're going through the test shows you hey you're on pace on time or you're behind on time and you need to speed up so just things like that that you don't even find in the official practice uh, gmat uh, tool so that is it i just kind of wanted to show you guys um how to get um my practice test on my website successprep.com i'm going to flash back to that so you just go to successprep.com click on the uh, gmat circle then click on the gmat practice test yellow button and you can get right there thank you